welcome back to my channel thank you for watching today i want to show you the new book by paul brun this is the third one it's called fauna fragile so fragile fauna size is the same as the other book this is the second one and you can see it's the same size it's the same style different color this one is purple this is uh, a nice metallic uh, lettering in a bright orange really beautiful so this is about um, I think endangered species a lot of them and I have one look and I really like it so it has a, a flap on the inside so you can put this around your pages if you want you can see it's pretty new it came yesterday <laughs> uh, here's the title an introduction it's in French and a website and a Facebook and everything Venerable Planet already you can test your pencils here if you want into the book so here we have a nice peacock the names of the animals are in the back of the book look at this tiger it's amazing it's a shame it's in the binding but mine is pretty new it will lay flatter than this <coughs> if you use it more but it's beautiful we have a hamster well I think it's a hamster <laughs> Maybe a reindeer. I like this one. It looks like this part is gone over there. It's not fitting, but because of the circle. I love this with the circle in the middle with the butterfly and then all the rest around it. I like the circle so you don't have to do the whole background. <laughs> You know me in backgrounds, that's not a, a good marriage. Snowdrops. I don't know what this is. Is it an otter? Maybe it's an otter. Look at the irises. I'm not sure. Love, love. The seahorse. I love seahorses. Beautiful small fish I don't know all the names I'm sorry some birds and this, I think it's two species because this one has a very different beak and I love that there are a lot of flowers you know I like to color flowers uh, I think this is a wolf and this has the same in the first book that there are branches come out of the um, animal it's not with all the animals but and this is the a plant that ate um, mosquitoes and flies and things we used to have one in the pond but after three years it was sudden it suddenly disappeared and once we had a flower in it so it was really amazing a nice red flower hibiscus with a nice butterfly an iguana uh, some lizardy thing <laughs> I'm not so good with reptiles I think this is a kind of a crane I know what he looks like beautiful with this <laughs> thing in his head oh I can put it a little lower I'm sorry for that I hope it's still okay oh an elephant with a baby so cute but a fly and a kind of parrot I think a bird, a kind of a hair a 
a red panda. I love these. We have these in the garden. I don't know the English name. We call them rhododendrons. <laughs> I don't know the English name. There's some bamboo in the background. I think with this, this is a shark. type of a flamingo beautiful cactus and other things really nice a crab and a fish and coral a monkey a rhino and a kind of a woodpecker here and another bird. This one we have as a, a plant for in your home. Uh, the Dutch name is a hedgehorn. I don't know the English one. When I was little, it was very popular. Everybody had one. <laughs> Not anymore, but there was a time that it was very popular. This is not a toucan, but uh, oh my gosh, we call it a rhino bird, but I don't know. And this is a flower that smells very bad, I think. I think it's this one, with a bad, bad, bad smell. Not 100% sure, but kind of an antelope. Snake, hibiscus, beautiful flowers. I would love to color this, and I think I will not do a background on this. Just, just, just a picture. It's raining very hard at the moment. I don't know. Maybe you can hear it. It's a really bad weather again. Oh my gosh, we have had so much rain lately. It's ridiculous. We get one beautiful day and then we get five days of rain. <laughs> and one day in between. A little owl. Some little fish. A turtle. Orangutan. His eyes are very close together. Maybe it's always that way I don't, I don't know <laughs> I do like the page a koala and again here little plant with a butterfly I like that that there's something here and again I, I wouldn't do a whole background I think birdies I think this is a bird of paradise maybe not it has a, a long beak, so it could be a kind of a hummingbird. Mm. Another bird that I don't recognize. I thought this was a, a mountain lion, but I saw in the back of the book that it's a panther. So I think you call it, it looks like both. <clears throat> maybe a macaw or something maybe something else oh I like this little picture love the little circle leaving everything white and just color this with a little background in the circle yeah wonderful so here are all the pictures with the names, so you see um, Malaysian Tiger, it's all in French but you can look it up and then you know what type of animal it is, if you want to color it like the real thing. It's a Panther de Floride. So, mm. and up here it's saying 
critical danger, danger, vulnerable, um, quasi human safe. And I think, well, it would be in danger too. <laughs> So, and again, here is the flap that you can put so that you know where you are with your coloring book if you want. Nice purple picture. Something when it's printed and the back of the book. So, yeah, I think it's beautiful. I'm really happy with it. I hope you like it too. Thank you for watching. Maybe till next time. Bye for now.